Sunday marks the anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks against the United States. It will mark 21 years since thousands were killed in coordinated attacks in New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. Tonight, a man who moved to Chatham County after the attacks shares his incredible story of survival. As CBS 17's Dina Harley explains, he was inside one of the World Trade Center towers when the planes hit. Unbelievable scene. Smoke. Fire. Coming out of these huge black holes from the sides of that building. Planes redder than any red I'd ever seen before in my life. Looking up the side of the building and beyond the top level. That was the scene Joe Dittmar saw almost 21 years ago to the day after what started as just a normal insurance meeting on the 105th floor of Two World Trade Center, the South Tower. He said, hey, there's been an explosion in the North Tower. After hearing the news of what was then thought to be an explosion next door, Dittmar and his colleagues calmly made their way down a fire exit. But he says those last few minutes of not knowing what was happening all ended when the building they were trying to get out of was hit by another plane. Like that building shook so violently back and forth, that fire stairwell, this concrete bunker shaking at angles it shouldn't be shaking. The handrails breaking away from the wall, the concrete spidering out. It was the start to what became known as the worst terror attack on American soil, the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks. Dittmar says his memories of that day include raining concrete, twisted steel, and blood-stained sidewalks. But he also remembers the hundreds of first responders who went right into the wreckage to help others. They knew they were going up those steps to fight a fire that they couldn't beat. Those steps to try to save lives that they could not save. He says it was a show of American heroism that he thinks about every single day. And they knew they were going up. He says the terror attack is the first thing he thinks about every morning and the last thing he thinks about at night. But in between those moments, Dittmar says he focuses on what that day taught him. Don't take anything for granted. They say it back to you every day. Dina Harley, CBS 17 News. More than 120 people were killed when a third hijacked plane crashed into the Pentagon in Washington. More than 40 others died when United Flight 93 crashed in Pennsylvania. This happened after passengers tried to retake control of that plane.